At 6 o'clock, the clues captured on camera leading police to a man accused of attacking a jogger on a popular trail. And for the last couple of months, he was still on the loose, creating a lot of concern near Purdue University. Absolutely. The sexual assault took place right off of campus this past summer on the Wabash Heritage Trail. Our Jenny Runovich shows us the high-tech help police had to track down this wanted man. Well, police made the arrest last night here around 945 at the Briarwood Apartments in Lafayette. The accused attacker, a homeless man who investigators say had been on the run for two months. 21-year-old Lyandre Williams now jailed and charged with sexually assaulting a jogger on the Wabash Heritage Trail. Crimes like this just don't happen here. But the crime July 20th had people near Purdue on edge. A woman exercising around noon grabbed from behind and sexually assaulted. The phone in her running belt tossed by her attacker when she tried to call for help. But court documents say the victim saw his face during the assault and then saw it again in surveillance video. A trail of high-tech clues helped police identify Williams. These images from a fast food restaurant 15 minutes before the attack, then City cameras captured the same man on a pedestrian bridge. The victim said they matched her attacker. The cameras, key to the investigation. Their assistance is, is a, a huge benefit in a lot of what we do. So I would say this case was no different. Trail users like Mark and Amber. Safety precaution, I mean, everywhere you go. Would like to see additional cameras in the park. I think they ought to have more, to tell you the truth. You know, even in the trees, you know, have some kind of security cameras, like you know, trail cam. like a trail cam or something. In this case, video and police putting in overtime led to an arrest and relief for people who use this popular trail. Jenny Renovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Right now, Williams is in the Tippecanoe County Jail facing charges of rape, attempted rape, and sexual battery, plus for allegedly throwing the victim's phone, which counts as interference with reporting a crime.